Hello, Robert. Adrian Veidt here. Here, in 85, the end is nigh. Nuclear holocaust between the United States and Russia is imminent. And the only way to stave off mankind's extinction is with a weapon more powerful than any atomic device. That weapon is fear. I, Mr. President, am its architect. In 24 hours' time, an extra-dimensional monster will materialize in Manhattan, unleashing a psychic blast that kills half the city's population and traumatizes millions more. Yet the monster will not have come from another dimension at all. It will have come from me. A hoax, Mr. President. An elaborate, meticulously engineered hoax to save the world. Stand by for connection to Mars Antenna in five, four, three, two. Dr. Manhattan is listening. Watchmaker's Son. The Watchmaker's Son. 1936. My father was repairing a watch. It will be years before I study the electromagnetic spectrum of infrared light. It's 1959. I'm in Gila Flats, New Mexico. I left my watch inside the intrinsic field chamber, and now I'm locked inside. Three, fully two, aware that when the countdown one. ends, my skin will burn off of my body. But what emerged was an immortal god, impervious to the passage of time. This is I am the past, the present, and the future, all at once. This is still very beautiful stories. The first one is called Genesis, and it's about how God created the world. Make it your purpose to create something beautiful. I am Dr. Manhattan. This is oh, John, is this the end? Nothing ends, Janie. Nothing ever ends. Who are you? Maybe you understand me now. Mr. Young, your chief of police. If sometimes you see that I'm mad. You're the vast and insidious conspiracy. I play. Don't you know you are the cycle. You are the cycle. Who are you? When everything goes wrong, you see some bad. Who are you? Run, just to show whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let just, me just, be missed. Who are you? Justice. Whatever you think I did, you don't understand. You know, sometimes, baby, I'm so carefree. I know you. Many men would be nothing without the man who inspires us. Put it just, put it just. Oh, Lord, you stay away from Tulsa. You stay away from me and your son. Put it justice. It all started with you. There's this guy. He's a bricklayer. And he's really good at it. Because he's precise. Every brick has its place. Anyway, this guy has a daughter, and he's going to teach her to be a bricklayer because, after all, all a man has is his legacy. And he shows the daughter how to do everything, step by step. You are hooded justice. This is about Angela. Angela? Only one problem. There's a brick left over. One single brick. The guy freaks out. He must have done something wrong. He's gonna have to start all over again. So he picks up his sledgehammer to knock the thing to pieces and suddenly his daughter says, Daddy, wait, I have an idea. She picks up the orphan brick. Brick! And she throws it Go. up into the air. One! As high as she can. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Yeah.
heroes die, and they all show up at the pearly gates. God's there to decide what their eternal fate shall be, heaven or hell. Three million innocent people! Smarty Pants smiles. Watch the eggs. You can't make an omelet without breaking a couple eggs. I once asked you, John, whether it was all worth it in the end. Guilty! Christ, God says. Guilty! Guilty! You're a fucking monster. Guilty! God snaps his fingers. The hero goes to hell. And I think it's gonna be God! Your gods are bound on you. without breaking a couple of eggs. And the woman looks at God, and she quietly says, I'm the little girl who threw the brick in the air. God looks up. It's too late. He never saw it coming. Game over. He's dead. And where does God go when he dies? He goes to hell.